Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got for you just a mixed haul, which means I've just been to different stores, picked up a few bits, but there's just not enough to do a video on each store. So I've just collaborated them all into one big video to get them out of the way and off and on to show you guys. But first things first, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Charlie. I do weekly videos on lifestyle, shopping hauls, home decorating and I also shot in a DIY now and again. If that is something that you're interested in then why not consider subscribing to my channel. To subscribe to my channel all you have to do is hit that red subscribe button down below or you can hit the watermark that's in the corner of your screen. If you are a returning viewer and you are already subscribed then thank you for your support it really does mean a lot. The love that I get over on Instagram and over here on YouTube is absolutely phenomenal and it doesn't go unnoticed. If you are not following me on Instagram, I will leave my handle right across the screen. Please head on over there. I put content up there from homeware to shopping hauls to outfit of the days to my attire and I would love to have you over there. So please feel free to head on over there after you've watched this video and give me a follow. Um, if you do leave me a comment down below, I always get back to my comments. I do like to know what you think of the videos or what you think of my content. So without further ado, grab yourself a nice cosy drink, get some snacks of your choice and just enjoy this video. So before we get into the video, I just want to apologise if you can hear any drilling or any hammering. It's just because I've decided to film today and my neighbours have decided to get a new fence. So it's not in my home. Um, I'm not getting no renovation done, no DIYs happening while I'm filming. It's just my neighbours are getting a new fence. So that's what you can hear in the background. So I have been to a few stores today and I haven't picked up much. But as you know, I do like to show you everything that I buy and I need this out of this room and put out in one of the pieces I can't wait to put out well actually two of the pieces so I've been to stores of the range TK Maxx Asda and I'm also going to show you some products that I've bought online it's not going to be a very big haul guys but I don't really do big massive hauls unless it's a Primark haul but I did want to show you exactly what I've bought so the first thing that I've picked up I actually seen this product in IKEA. If you've not seen my come shop with me at IKEA, I will leave the link down below. This product was featured in that video, but I believe it was more of a tinted glass. So when I went into the range today, this was the first thing I noticed. Now I think I've seen this in Primark as well, and I think it was £12 in Primark. But as you all know, I never ever go to my local Primark, I always go to a city centre Primark and when I seen this in Primark, I didn't pick it up because I couldn't carry it around city centre. So when I went into the range today, I noticed that they had it as well and it was £17. This is, I mean look at the size of this vase. I've got a big head, but this is bigger than my head. So it's just this beautiful glass vase. Now I bought it and I thought, I don't know what I'm going to put in that, but I know I wanted it out of Ikea, but they didn't sell the clear glass. They only sold like, um, I think it was like a green glass. It was really nice. They had lilies in them. Now, I looked all over, and I mean all over, for something nice to put in that vase. And I just couldn't find any four flowers or anything like that. And because it's glass, I needed it to not look messy at the bottom so I did pick up this and I did have a look in the range but their fake flowers I just wasn't keen on and to be fair I find that the the big bouquets in the range are quite expensive like 15 pound and I'm not going to pay 15 pound for a bouquet of flowers that is I didn't really like so I thought I'd get it and then see if I can find anything to put in it and I did so I went into Dunnell and they were selling these stems for four pound each. So I was going to get three, which if you do the maths, it would have cost me twelve pound. 
where I live in Teesside, the range is on one side and Dunelm's on the other side. And to get to the other side, you've got to go all the way down, round the roundabout, and come all the way back up to myself. And I just thought, I wanted to get over to TK Maxx. I wanted to have a look in there. So when I went into TK Maxx, they had the same, I'm going to say leaves, that I'd seen in Dunelm for £4. Pound. But in TK Maxx, they were £2.99 a stem. So in Dunelm, I was going to get three for £12, and I actually got four for £12. Now, I think I've seen Freya Farrington sew these stems, but I think she got hers from Dunelm. So it does pay to shop around. I've got an extra one for the same amount of money as what I would in Dunelm. So I believe these are just called leaves. They're, they're not like a, an olive branch or anything like that. They're just leaves. And you get quite a few on one stem. So I just thought, I didn't want no colour in this vase. I just wanted just greenery. So I did pick up four of them from TK Maxx. And I just thought, obviously I'd have to bend. Obviously once I've messed about with them a little bit, this would look really nice on a sideboard, on a coffee table. I actually do really like the leaves. Very plain. No colour in there. And to be fair, there's a, it's only four bunches in there and it's, it's quite full. So for the vase and for the spray, it cost me a total of £29 which I think is an absolute bargain. When I went into Ikea and seen the lilies that they had in their vase, they were £6 a stem, and I'd have needed quite a few stems. So I have saved quite a bit of money by shopping around. However, I would have got it cheaper in Primark if I could just carry it around, because in Primark the vase was only 12. But today, the vase was 17 from the range, and these stems were from TK Maxx. But you can get these stems in Dunelm if your TK Maxx don't have them. I know some TK Maxx's don't have the same products as what I've shown you. But if you do like them leaves, then Dunelm sell them for £4 each. So I was quite happy with that little purchase today. So I think I'm going to just put that on the end of my coffee table with my coffee table books. I will actually show you over on my Instagram once it's all styled and once I've manipulated the leaves to how I want them. I'm quite happy with that purchase. So the next items that I'm going to show you are from Foxy Locks. Now I do use Foxy Locks hair extensions and I absolutely love the Foxy Locks products that they sell. This video is not sponsored by Foxy Locks at all however I would love them to have you reach out and work with me. This was bought with my own money so the first thing that I picked up from Foxy Locks is their shampoo. Now I absolutely love the shampoo and the conditioner. So I believe if you bought the shampoo and conditioner separately, they both are retailed at £12 each, which would have cost me £24. But I noticed on Foxy Locks that they were doing the bundle, which is the shampoo and the conditioner for £20. And we kept on going in and out of stock. So as soon as it come back in, I bought it. Now, I've got two on my shelf in my bathroom and they're empty. But I absolutely love the bottles from Foxy Locks. So this is Repair and Restore, a rich and nourishing conditioner that renews softness, shine and manageability in hair. Use daily for the ultimate hair indulgence. This is one of my favourite conditioners. So it says spread through the hair, leave for three minutes and then rinse. Once I've used this conditioner, my hair feels so lightweight. Absolutely amazing. So I got the conditioner and I also bought the shampoo. Now these are 500 mils, they're cruelty free and 
I just absolutely love these bottles styled up on the shelves. So for the two, I got for £20, which I saved myself £4 rather than buying them separately. Obviously the conditioner lasts me a little bit longer because shampoo I use all the time. I used to have to wash my hair. Well, I didn't have to. I always wash my hair every day. I've got really oily hair. I produce too much oils and it makes my hair greasy. So having these, I just thought they do make my hair feel so nice. I've tried different shampoos before. I've tried cheaper shampoos. Some people have said use cheap shampoo. It just doesn't work. So I'd rather buy shampoo and conditioner from Foxy Locks to make my hair feel really nice. So I picked them up from Foxy Locks. I also picked up the anti-breakage and anti-frizz 14 carat gold plated comb. It gives your hair shine and body. Now, this is what the packaging looks like. So it's just a wide tooth styling comb. And the reason why I bought this, I've actually got the brush from Foxy Locks, which is still on the website. It's 20 pound, I believe. But this one is just for when I've got my hair extensions in and I've curled them and it's down and I just brush. I mean, obviously there's not much curls left in my extensions today, but it's just to brush through to give them, to give it a nicer finish and not take all the curls out. So this was £9 and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I love this. So I know you can get wide tooth combs cheaper but I always go to Foxy Locks. Like I said I do have the brush that gives you more of like a more of a full look but I just needed something just to go through the curls when I've curled my hair extensions and I picked this one up. I had seen it a few times a lot of people have recommended this one so I just picked up that that was nine pounds I have done hair extensions review before. I will leave that video down below, but I always use my Foxy Locks. These hair extensions are in Ice Latte. It's the only colour that I would ever wear. It just mixes so well with my hair anyway. So the next thing that I bought from Foxy Locks, it comes in this beautiful packaging and it is the Luxury Hair Oil. I absolutely love the packaging on Foxy Locks. No detail is left undone and basically this is the hair oil look at that so this says rub the oil into your hands and apply to lengths and ends of the hair for daily use apply all over the hair for deep treatment use on dry hair to create shine eliminate frizz hydrate protect from uv use on wet hair to help detangle hair add gloss and add heat protection Use overnight from root to tip for a deep hair treatment. So this has so many benefits and I absolutely love the packaging that this comes in. Now, this was, I'm just checking because I can't actually remember how much this oil was. So Foxy Lux Luxury Gold Hair Oil infused with argan oil, collagen and keratin. This is £35. And I just think for that all over treatment, I thought I would just get it and see how I get away with it. I know a lot of people have used this and they get away with it brilliantly. Obviously because my hair is quite greasy, it does get greasy and I'm thinking more of like a slick look. So it just says, it comes in a little bottle like this. This is going to last forever this isn't it? And it's got a little pipette on the top. Says add a few drops into your hands, run it through, and then just run it through your hair from root to tip. top just to I 
I always have one of these little headbands in now just to keep my hair back. It just smells absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a luxury smell. Um, but yeah, that's made my hair extensions feel so soft. Obviously, once my hair extensions are curled and I've used my comb and run the oil through, then it would obviously be a lot better, but look at that. Obviously, you can't see on camera, but it has given my hair extensions a really nice shine. And obviously the ends were a little bit fuzzy as well. So, can use this on normal hair, you can use it on your hair extensions. I wash my hair extensions with Foxy Locks conditioner as well. Everything regarding my hair is always Foxy Locks. Like I said, I've tried cheaper products in the past. Um, my hair just doesn't get away with them. But so far, Foxy Locks has done me well. So that's what I bought from Foxy Locks. Now, I've got two more items to show you and they're from Asda. Now, I've been seeing a lot of girls walking around in really nice dresses, just a basic dress with pockets in the side. So when I was in Asda today, I noticed that Asda actually sell them. So I did pick up two, and the two different ones as well. They're both basic, they've both got the pockets in. One's a longer length than the other one. I will do a little try on to show you both of the products. I might just do a split screen, or I might just do a video with the two of the dresses. But it's just this plain black dress. Now, as I always say in my hauls, you're not going to see the full effect of this until I put it on. Now, this does have pockets. So it's got pockets in the side. You can't really see them. You'll see them more if I have on to try on. And this one, I would think, just goes below my knee. So this one was £12 and it contains modal. Does anyone know what modal is? If you do, let me know down below. But I just picked up this black basic dress and I basically I bought it because it's got pockets in it. And the girls that I have seen do actually look nice in it. So I got mine in a 12 to 14. For reference, I am a 12 but obviously a medium is a 12 to 14. I am five foot four. I always get asked when I put dresses on or when I put long jackets on what my height is. I'm five foot four. So that will show you if you were five foot four where it would go to on you. So you will see this one in the try on, but for 12 pound, I just saw how nice. Just with a pair of black or beige sandals with a nice bag just for a cosy day maybe or if I'm just nipping to the shop or if the sun's out and I want to get my legs out which isn't very often but I wasn't leaving it I'd seen the girls in it and I absolutely loved it so I bought that and then this wouldn't be an all that neutrals video if I hadn't bought something beige so I bought it in the beige as well so again just a turnover on the sleeve, around the neck. This one was £14, but that's because this one is a lot longer. So it's more like a maxi. Pockets in the side again. With a pair of black sandals or just some white sandals, some nice white and tan sandals. This one have been really nice and put together. So yeah, I just picked up the beige one as well. So you will see on the try on how these look. And I just thought for a basic outfit, I'm having them. So guys, that is the end of this little haul. I know it hasn't been a massive haul and I haven't shown you that much, but the, these were the just little miscellaneous bits that I was left with after filming for a whole week. And I just needed to show you them. So my favorite purchase has to be 
this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I'm so glad that I shopped around and I got the leaves for cheaper because I got like a little bit more for what I would expect to get out. Like I said, I did see Frey Barrett and show these leaves from Dunelm, so I know they are in Dunelm in Tandy. But yeah, this is my favourite purchase from this little miscellaneous haul. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. And remember what I said, if you are new here and you like this sort of content, then please leave me a comment down below. Please hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and let me know that you've subscribed. I do always get back to my comments. I absolutely love to chat to you all. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.